Yes, I now know in the trailer she said kitchen. You don't have to keep telling me. So before we get into the premiere of the new series of Doctor Who, I want to talk a little bit about Bill, the new companion. Well, one of two new companions, but Nardole, who's the other one, we've already seen before, so I don't need to speculate about what we'll get with him. We know what we're getting. Personally speaking, I like it. Um, now, Bill, I have had concerns about up to this point, and I haven't talked a ton about her explicitly, or at least in, like as the main focus of a video. I brought her up when she's shown up in trailers and teasers and whatnot. Like I said, I something about the the vibe of it hasn't been quite clicking for me. Now, uh, BBC put out a video that was a little bit of a behind the scenes with the actress Pearl Mackey and uh, Peter Capaldi and Stephen Moffat all talking about the character, sort of uh, what the concept behind her is and some of the background on her. And that video um, has not completely made my concerns go away, but it's made me a little bit more hopeful that I will actually enjoy her as a character. Some of the specific things that they brought up, one of the big things actually was that that she is a bit of a sci-fi geek. So that means that she's coming at this and these experiences not from a, oh my god, I never conceived of this angle, but from like somebody like me and I think a lot of the fans of this show, we'd be like, oh, this is kind of like bleh. Or, you know, we'd have a point of reference that would be an easy enough for us to grasp it that the questions we would ask wouldn't be the obvious questions, they'd be more off kilter questions. So I like that as a bit of her concept. I also, it actually helped me seeing Pro Mackey talk to the camera and just as an as a person give off a completely different vibe from the vibe that I get of her playing Bill. And that to me says that she is a good actress and she's not, they didn't just cast her because she is the thing that she's doing. They're casting her because she can perform it well because there did, there did, at least to me, appear to be a pretty big difference between how she came across as a person and how the character of Bill comes across. So that is reassuring to me. It tells me that they have gotten a good actress in the part. Not that I was necessarily concerned that they hadn't, but sort of having that confirmed in a way is a nice thing. That gives me some more hope. I like sort of they put forth that she's going to challenge the Doctor a bit more and going to come at things from an angle he's not expecting, which is something I've liked about some past companions. It was something I really liked about Donna, for example. So there were a lot of things said in that that made me go, okay, I like the idea behind Bill. Does that mean I'm going to like her as a character? Not necessarily, because there is a difference between a character that works on paper and how it actually ends up in, in the end, because a lot of things can happen. I mean, it can just be a case of maybe the chemistry's off, something about the execution doesn't quite work, while the central concept might be a good idea, the specific writing in terms of characterization and dialogue might not be to my particular liking, or it could just be a case that they execute exactly what was on paper, but it just turns out, boy, that didn't gel the way on paper one would think that it would have. And all of that is still possible, because as I said, the footage that I've seen up to this point has made me go, mm, I don't know. And that feeling isn't now totally gone, but I'm more hopeful that she'll be able to turn me around because I now get the idea behind the character. I get what they're going for. And that is a good thing for me to know because I think initially sort of, especially like seeing her work in a cafeteria serving chips and immediately brought back memories of Rose. Yes, I understand her serving chips was just an undercover thing in a school reunion. I, I get that, but it, it was an image that I always had of Rose. So I was immediately getting that, oh, they're just kind of doing Rose again vibe. And now that I get the concept behind what she, how she's supposed to work and her dynamic and her background a little bit, and she comes from a rougher background, but she still has an upbeat spirit and upbeat personality. These are all things that I am down with in concept. So knowing I'm on board with the concept of Bill, I think hopefully gets me in a mindset where I'll be more accepting of her once she actually shows up on screen. And one last thing I'm just gonna mention to bring up the fact why I haven't talked about it up to this point, the fact that it has been revealed, uh, Oh, potential spoilers if you've really been trying to avoid a lot of information. I don't know if it's a spoiler. I don't know if it'll factor into the story at all, but I, just in case. Um, the thing that I haven't talked about is Bill is apparently going to be the first openly gay companion. And um, the reason I haven't brought it up is it doesn't impact my feelings about the character specifically one way or the other. It doesn't make me automatically more disposed to her. It doesn't make me um, dislike her. I do like um, that we're getting that level of representation into the show. I think as a general thing, a 
a recurring character um, who is like the central companion. Because obviously we've had Jack Harkness, who's more kind of omnisexual, for lack of a better term. But, uh, you know, he's also from a different time, a different culture, where what he is is actually normal. So the idea of having somebody from today who is openly gay, I think that's... And, and also that she's a woman. Obviously, Jack Harkness was a man. I think that's just a nice bit of representation. It's nice to have it on there. In terms of, will it make me more accepting to the character? Does it impact things either way? So that's why I didn't bring it up. Of course, now I brought up the fact that I didn't bring it up, meaning I made a deal out of the fact that I didn't make a deal out of it, thereby making a deal of it. Oh, this just goes round and round and round, does it? Anyways, that's my thoughts, my concerns, and my hopes about Bill. What are your thoughts on her about Pearl Mackey's performance as her, about the idea behind the character? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check me out on Twitter at Council of Geeks. Give a listen to the Council of Geeks podcast available on iTunes and Stitcher. And until next time, this council is adjourned.